Hi, my name is Kathleen and I teach high school biology and science and I just want to show you some of the interesting plant projects that are going on in my classroom right now. So I'll direct you over here. I have a variety of soil and hydroponics going on at this point. This section is mostly soil plants, just a variety of plants from all different phyla from cacti to basil plants. And over here we have a hydroponic setup. This is a PVC drip system. And growing in here I have a variety of herbs, some lettuce. I have done a few harvests of lettuce and then I just replanted it black with a few um, seedlings as you can see over here. There's some flowering plants in there. I did have, um, this is a high pressure sodium bulb. I did have a white one going for vegetative growth. I'm now trying out a, an orange one just to see how it works with vegetative growth as well. Plus I've got some flowering uh, plants in there so uh, the yellow is the orange is supposed to be better for the flowering. Over here are some more soil plants and a little terrarium. And on the far side we have a cucumber. So most of the plants are under this high pressure sodium over here with the white light but I have a transplant tomato that's about that big in hydroponics that I'm going to be setting under there very soon. The cucumber is under an LED light, about 300 watts, and right now I'm just experimenting to see how it grows. So far, there's a lot of vegetative growth and tons of baby cucumbers, and there's even a really big cucumber that has grown under there. This cucumber plant is a special variety that's grown in greenhouses. It's an all-female plant, so there's no indoor pollination that needs to take place. So it's lower maintenance. Here's the biggest cucumber that's grown by far, I think because it's getting a lot of light. It's about four inches long. The package says that these ones can grow up to about six inches, so they're a smaller cucumber. On some of the leaves you'll notice that there is some specks of powdery mildew. Unfortunately, sometimes cucumbers are susceptible to those and I'll probably have to cut off those leaves. But overall the light is doing very well. The ones that are further away from the light are smaller at this point, so if I can train them to climb up the trellis and get exposed to the light, I might have some other big ones like that grow as well. Over here we have a revolving grow system. It's a wheel that dips through a nutrient solution. And this one's growing lettuce, two varieties of lettuce. I decided to try a green and a red lettuce. This system uh, was given as a test system by Quick Grow here in Calgary, Alberta, a local hydroponics store. And they set it up in the classroom and uh, they just wanted to see how it would run. So my students and I planted 60 heads of lettuce in here and that was about five weeks ago. As you can see it's done very very well. Inside it's grown as the wheel rotates, which it rotates about once every hour, it grows toward a central LED light which was custom designed by Quick Grow as well. And the lettuce is loving it. So tomorrow we harvest and have a salad day. I'll also show you what it looks like with the uh, LED lights unplugged so you can get an idea of the coloration of the lettuce. What I like about this system is that it can grow 60 heads lettuce in a very small amount of space, which is good for a classroom or anywhere that you don't have much room. It uses very little water as well for the reservoir. It's pretty low maintenance. All I need to do is change the reservoir solution every week or so. And if I have the light set to a timer, then I don't even have to worry about plugging it in. It just does its thing. And the, I think the plants grow so well because they um, get lots of water as they dip through the nutrient solution 
but then as they go around the wheel, they're exposed to air. So the oxygen penetrates the roots and oxygen is of course important for plant growth. So they grow, grow really nice and healthy and strong. Plus when they're going around, uh, as they move upside down, they release a hormone that helps to make the plant even stronger. So they're very robust. And I just tried a piece of lettuce. Also very tasty. Mm. crisp and refreshing. Salad day tomorrow. Lastly over here, I have a shelf with T5 lights. This is where I use to plant my seedlings. Down here I have two tomato plants going. They are soon ready to be uh, planted into a hydroponic system. Up here I have some soil plants, petunias and alyssum, just to add a little bit of color to the room. The T5 lights are a really nice uh, starter light and because they're pretty cheap to get, they're about $35 Canadian a piece. They have a really nice spectrum and they produce really nice green growth. So if you want to just get started on a small scale with a shelf and a couple of lights, they're a really easy system. My petunias are going to bloom very soon, so uh, they like the T5 lights a lot. And I've experimented with many different things under here, and they all do really well under the T5 lights. <laughs>